let's talk about your desire to be skinny and fit into the world's beauty standards. Florence Given, in her amazing book, Women Don't Own You Pretty, puts it this way. We live in a patriarchal society which prioritises our desirability above anything and everything else, which means that life is easier when we dress up, life is easier when we shave, life is easier when we wear makeup to work, life is easier when we have made a visible effort with our appearance, life is easier when we reflect society's ideas of beauty full stop. Life is also easier when you live in a thin body. We have thin privilege. I have thin privilege. I can go into any shop and buy clothes that will fit me. I can go on the train, the tube. I can go on an aeroplane. I don't have to buy an extra seat. I can fit everywhere. The world is designed for me. So I have a thin privilege. Life is easier if you don't like your body and you are A, on a diet because people think you're motivated. They're applaud you for doing it or yeah life is easier when you don't like your body because if you like your body can you imagine if you like your body wow people just cannot believe that this could be someone actually likes themselves oh wow you must love yourself you must have a big ego who do you think you are liking your body? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's expected of you to not like your body. So to say that you like your body would be crazy. It means that you're not buying into society's rules. It means you're not going to go on a diet and buy all the diet products. It means you're not going to do a load of exercise to change yourself. It means that you might actually go to the gym because you want to improve your mental health or you want to live longer or you want to be healthy, or you want to run after your kids and not get out of breath. Or you want to lift weights and be a fucking strong woman. What you do with your body is your choice. But it is expected of you to not like it. It's expected of you when you walk in a gym that you're there because you want to lose weight. As a fitness instructor, I have given out leaflets, years and years and years of giving out leaflets, and the most common thing people say is, oh, you're giving me that because you think I need to lose this, or you think I need to lose weight. It's all about weight loss, and the gym isn't about weight loss. Yes, it is marketed that way, and it can be that way, but there are some personal trainers like myself who will actually help you with your whole body, your physical and your mental, spiritual, emotional. There's the whole package that makes up a human being. Just getting thin isn't one of them. You may lose weight. Weight loss is a side effect of exercise. It's not the goal. Weight loss doesn't mean you've become healthy. You can be healthy at any size. You can run a marathon and still fit in the obese category. You could be skinny, and be a smoker, take drugs, drink alcohol, not exercise, have high cholesterol, high blood sugar, not sleep at night, and you appear to society that you're healthy. We can't judge people's bodies. Judging people's bodies comes from a place of judging our own. So being body positive means learning to accept your body as it is, and accept other people's bodies and just let go of controlling other people. What people do with their bodies is their business. It's nothing to do with you. Whether someone is fat and working on being thin or whether someone is fat and happy as they are, it's none of your business. Work on yourself. Know why you're doing what you do and just look at where it comes from. Is your desire to be thin your own? Is it like wearing makeup? Is it like wearing certain colored clothes or a certain style of clothing? Is it part of your personality? Or are you hoping that changing your body will make you happy, will keep your relationship, will get you a relationship, will make you more desirable, will get you more jobs?
what is it you think changing your body will get you?